to another amazing interview with some of the awesome women that I get to work with. This is a special interview for those of you guys who are craving something more in your current nine to five grind. Maybe right now you're feeling a little lost in your purpose or you're like craving a family vacation because you haven't gone on one in months. Or maybe you're even thinking about early retirement. This is for those of you who maybe have been working a job for five, 10, 15 years and you're just wondering what else is out there for me? What else can I use my unique skills and gifts for that I feel like gives me a creative outlet that really brings me some deeper fulfillment than what I'm doing. So if it's retiring a couple of years early or straight up just jump and ship into the world of online entrepreneurship, we are here to tell you how to do it effectively alongside your nine to five. I have the awesome opportunity to interview one of my amazing teammates, clients and friends, Tammy Hickey. She is going to help teach you how you can be building this side hustle business, working around 10 hours a week mm -hmm. alongside of your nine to five job. That's going to allow you to have the ability to retire early and even get some vacations. Tammy is just like a sneeze away from yes. qualifying for a free paid vacation to the Bahamas, like airfare, food, room, all the things through this um, side hustle that she's built. And I, really at this point, we can't even say it's a side hustle because Tammy's just crushing. She's crushing it. She's leading a team of nearly 300 people. She's got fabulous, fabulous hair because of it. And we're gonna learn all of Tammy's secrets today. So Tammy, thank you so, so much for coming on and for chatting with us. You wanna tell us a little bit about your story and then we're gonna go into the tips. Yeah. Just alongside yeah. nine to five. That sounds great. Thanks for having me, Jasmine. It's such an honor to be here. Jasmine's been a huge influence in my life. Yeah, so here, here's my story. So I'm a corporate mama. I grew up in, in the corporate world. Um, really, honestly, like every other woman out there who, you know, you go to school, you get your degree, and then you go to work, right? You go work for someone else. And for the longest time, I felt like that's what life was all about, climbing the corporate ladder. You know, I got a lot of accolades. I um, have had the benefit and the blessing of, you know, being um, fortunate to work for great people who recognize my skills and abilities. And that becomes like all consuming. And you just get so caught up in this job and then that job. And, you know, before you know it, you know, promoting, promoting, promoting. And you're like, oh, this is awesome. Life is good. But then like I reached a point where I was like, oh, my gosh, like, is this it like is this my purpose in life is this where what god made me for like i know he designed me for more than this like so i got to the point where i wasn't really finding the fulfillment it was nice to have the accolades the money was nice you know we have a beautiful home you know great family all of that all the things all the worldly things but i was missing something on the inside and so really started to seek out different opportunities. And I'll be honest, like I, I dabbled in a lot of different things. I tried other network marketing companies. I tried, um, you know, I did faith and fitness for a while. I really felt like God was calling me in that area, like running is my passion too. And that's definitely a part of who I am. But it wasn't until I was actually coaching with Jasmine that we started together. She was my run coach and then my business coach. And she like started sharing this opportunity. And like at the time, like I just didn't feel like it was the direction that God was calling me. But you know when God has your heart because he doesn't leave you alone about it. I kept hearing her voice in my head. I kept like being intrigued by some of the things that she was saying. And what got me was how this opportunity really provided a means to an end for me, which is to retire early, to find something, and I'm exploring what that is, that really is my calling, that is my true purpose, that is what God created me for, and that gives me the fulfillment. But I'm having a ton of fun in the process Excuse me, learning so much about myself, about what that end game is. So that's a little bit about my story and where I am today. And it's been so much fun just seeing how Tammy has evolved. And I hope you see some freedom in that, that, you know, Tammy shared, she just kind of jumped in. She saw, I want more time with my family. I want to be able to have the freedom to pursue my goals and do something that really is my own. Um, and she jumped in. She tried network marketing. You know, she was doing some run coaching, fifth um, faith and fitness. And she just kind of weaved to here. And she is just totally totally, totally blossoms. I've, I have a very similar story myself. I've gone down many different paths in the online space 
And I've been really blessed to come um, and be able to partner with women like Tammy who are just super ambitious, goal driven, many of them who are doing this alongside their nine to fives. So, you know, a lot of times we hear women say, I would love to build a business. I just, I don't have time. You know, I'm, I've got family, I've got my work, I've got a really long commute. So Tammy, would you be willing to kind of walk through these three steps that women who are watching this can take to say, I can do this and I can really build this effectively. And, and you know, what does it look like to build this freedom based business? But this is obviously going to take some time too. So I'm really excited to hear your tips on this. I, I love that. Yeah. Because like, it's sort of like you do have to work a little bit harder to, to um, you know, to build the business enough to give you the freedom, but you don't have to sacrifice everything. Like you don't have to sacrifice all your free time, family, my relationship with God, that those, you know, taking care of myself, those are number one priorities. But what I started to look at is ways in which I could incorporate this business into my day and make my time work for me. So I have three key things that I do, you know, that really changes that up so that I can be a little bit more intentional with the energy that I focus on my business. So kind of tip number one is I had to make sure that I was focused on the right types of activities that's going to build my business. So for me, like we can call that a power hour. You can call that I call it power activities because sometimes I don't have a power hour, but I know there's four things that I need to do every single day to contribute my business. And that is that create and add value through social media, um, you know, based on conversations that I'm having with people like build relationships, um, you know, by adding value, follow up with some of those people um, and have conversations, whether they're intrigued about the products, intrigued about the business. So follow up and then the fourth thing, which is absolutely critical, and actually this should be number one, that's personal development. Because honestly, your mindset is absolutely critical and that will make or break whether or not you succeed in this business for sure. So as long as I'm doing those, those four things every single day in the way that I do that, sometimes that's on my lunch hour, I time block. So I have looked at my schedule and said every single day, and I plan out my week, where can I do those four focused activities? Sometimes it's in the morning, sometimes it's at noon, sometimes it's eight o'clock at night, but I know every single day that hour that I'm going to do that. So that is tip number one. I love that. And I love that you just made it, you laid it out that like you can do this in the pieces of your day. I know we're going to talk about this a little bit more on the next tip, just kind of like this, mm -hmm. this uh, maximizing as well. But I think the thing I love most about like our team and our partnership specifically is we have it down to a science. Like, yeah. We literally give you a blueprint. This is what you do. You can do it all in one hour chunk, or you can do 30 minutes in the morning, 30 in the evening, or 10 minute blocks every hour, you know, whatever works in your schedule. And, you know, Tammy sees, you know, let's be honest. Like at the end of the day, there's some elements where we definitely waste time. Okay. If you know that you could better maximize your time, drop a one in the comments. You know, there's always ways that we can be better, less scrolling on social media, more intentional time. And I truly believe that honestly, when we have this, these spaces where we're, you know, adding a little bit more into our day, it makes us a lot more intentional. You know, I remember when I would um, train and run cross country in college, my grades were always so much better in season. And it was because yeah. when, you, know, you had class, you went to practice, you ate dinner, and then you came home and did homework every single day. And I think it's the same thing. You know, you have your, you, 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 and you're intentional. There's that time blocking. This is my family time. This is my work time. During my commute, these are the things I'm doing. I have this free 30 minutes in the evening. I'm going to use it to the best ability to grow myself and to impact others, which ultimately is never a waste of time. So, so, so good. So now let's kind of go to that next tip because this is going to kind of be like, okay, the how, yeah. how do we really fit this in? So what does that look like practically? Yeah, honestly, this is my favorite part because this is what I got like really, really good at. Like this, I call this like maximizing my downtime. Some people call it multitasking. Some people call it double dipping. But the thing is, I it's like pairing two activities. Your brain cannot focus on more than one thing at a time. So while I'm doing something mundane, like driving or like running or like waiting for an appointment, that is when I'm doing something else that does require my brain. So I, that's why I say maximizing my downtime. So what this looks like is that is like listening to podcasts on my commute. Again, mindset, personal development, right? So I'm working on my brain. Um, I'm listening to audible books, personal development books while I run. I don't listen to music anymore. I like never have the radio on when I'm in my car or when I'm on on my run, or even when I'm folding laundry, I am 
pouring into, I'm pouring in, I'm pouring into my brain, I'm pouring into my mindset, I'm working on me. Um, while I'm waiting at the dentist, like, so my youngest and I go to the dentist at the same time. He goes in first, I have 20 minutes. I'm like on my phone doing my follow-ups, doing my relationship building, things like that. So I look for those little nuggets in my day where I can maximize my downtime. And like, that's my favorite part. Like I never sit idle anymore. Like sometimes I know it's good to do that, right? Like you need like a little bit of meditation and prayer. Like I totally do that too. That's my morning. Um, I don't work first thing in the morning. Like that's my God time. But other parts of my day, this is that's about what you were saying, Jazz. Like when you work smarter, when you're smarter and more intentional with your time, like I have just as much time in the day as anybody else. And but yet how what I choose to do with the with those kind of moments of downtime, I think truly makes a difference. Totally. And I love this too because it's not even just about how this downtime maximizes your business because obviously, you know, we're lifelong learners. Just because you graduated college or high school doesn't mean that you stop learning. You know, we can be learners for life. And ultimately, yes, all the things, all these books you're reading on goal setting. In fact, I would love to hear for all of you guys live. Tell me right now, what book are you currently reading? We would love to hear. I always love hearing what's in people's ears. Even tell me, are you an audiobook girl? I'm an audiobook girl. You know, so is Tammy. Or you have to sit down and just thumb through those pages. Mm -hmm. Um, But tell us what you're reading in the comments and you know yes this helps your your business you know personal to, you know goal setting and sales you know we read books on network marketing on relationship building but it also just helps you in your daily life like i know most of you who follow us on here are women and let's be honest you're wearing a billion hats your mom lifing your grandma lifing you're working you're serving 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 all day long and you can maximize your time to make sure you're pouring into yourself to feel like you're using your brain for something that's bettering who you are you have that person who's speaking outside of you almost a mentor in a sense who is pouring into you and that's going to help you to better pour out in your business in your mom life in your grandma life in your whatever it is that you do so this helps your life or your business so i love this maximizing and you're totally right like there's an element where you can't do two brain tasks at the same time but how many times are we doing things that don't require much brain power that we could better use to serve ourselves and our business so i love 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 that so much tammy tell me a little bit about this last tip this is Awesome. This one is so, so good and so, so crucial for long-term success, especially when you're doing something like this. So tell me, what's our, what's our last tip? Yeah. The last tip that honestly has been like truly the game changer. This is what keeps me in the game. Cause let's face it, like becoming an entrepreneur, building a business, it's hard. It's discouraging sometimes. Like you feel like, you know, oh, I'm putting in all this work and I'm not really getting much back. You are, but we don't always see that we are. And so we need to surround ourselves with a community, a tribe, you know, a a, a group of women who, who get it, who get what you're going through. So what I love this about our team, like super supportive, you know, we have this community where it's totally like pouring into one another. And at the same time, I know that there's people on my team that that I could call up and be like, I'm struggling today. Like I, this is my like reach out call. Like this is my 911, like talk me off the ledge because I'm about done. And, and honestly, like, and we have, we can have that honest conversation and, you know, and that person will pour truth into my life. So it's really like surrounding yourself. I I heard a quote the other day that I thought was amazing. Um, You know, we always hear that we are a product of the five people that are closest to us. Right. But I, I heard this quote that said, don't be the smartest person in the room. Like surround yourself not only with people who are going to support you and encourage you, but people who are going to push you and people who are going to like inspire you and motivate you, you know, and like you need both of those people, you know, you need, you need both of those things. And so that this last piece about the community, I cannot say enough about it. That has been a game changer. That is what has kept me here um, and will will keep me, you know, this is what's going to keep me in the game. So Love that so much. Any of you guys who are watching this now who are on our team, go ahead and give us the word team in the comments. I actually just looked over our page. I'm like, how big is our team right now? Um, And it is nearly 1,400 people in there, men and women who are doing this. Many, I would say at least half of them are building this alongside their nine to five. So it is so, so crucial when you're building a business to not go at it alone because it is hard. Like, give me some hearts. Either tap that heart button or drop some hearts below if you totally resonate with what Tammy's saying. Like, 
if you've done business before network marketing or, you know, building your own business or, you know, many of um, people, you know, brick and mortar business, whatever, it's hard. There's times where it's absolutely amazing and life changing. And that's why we stay in it because of the lives that we change and the impact we make. But days, there's hard days. And there's got to be times where we are able to say, I need some life poured into me. Please support me. Like, give me some support. In fact, you know, one thing I was just like so excited, like Tammy just kind of bragging on her and her leadership abilities. We have an amazing um, team thread that I used to support my team. And she commented in there um, yesterday, first of the month, like ready to hear her goals already. And she's like, who wants to do a mastermind support group? Like we can do calls. We can keep each other accountable. And everyone's like me, me, me. And it's funny how the whole energy of the day just shifted because Tammy was like, who wants to be in this with me, you know? So totally bragging on Tammy there. But when you have that person, when someone is in your circle who is like full of life, they can pour into you. And then there's gonna be a time where that person, you know, is having a rough day and you're full of life and you can pour into them. And it's this constant, like, you know, we can pull each other up, which I think is so, so, so huge. And I see Kristen's on here. Kristen's in that mastermind support group. So love her, so much like-minded women. Kristen actually just left her nine to five, which is huge. So, you know, we get to learn from amazing women like her, um, other amazing women on the team. And I just think this is crucial. That community is so, so important. I've never gone in a season in my business where I don't have some type of support community. And the thing I love most about specifically network marketing is we're all working towards the same goal. You know what I mean? We pay this one time, join the team, get all your stuff, get all support, and then month after month after month, you have people who are working towards the same goal. Like our entire team right now, we're doing a social media challenge. We're learning about sales and how to have better leadership skills, how to, uh, you know, promote, how to like support our teams together. Like we're all working towards the same goals. And that just makes it so, so much more rewarding. Cause I, you know, me and Tammy, we're doing the same actions, the same activities, and we can spur each other on, you know, she can say, I tried this and this worked, or I'm, you know, here's an example of, you know, this post I did that, you know, was working really well. And we can like support and kind of like give each other that creative space too. So I, I love that Tammy. So yeah. right now, Tammy, we have some people watching, um, yeah. probably in a similar situation to you, maybe a couple years ago who they're just craving something yeah. else. What would you say to that woman? Like, think of that person who, like, many of those women are actually on your team now. Um, yes. What do you want to say to that woman who's like, oh, I want to do this, but it's just, I'm scared. My life is crazy. You know, think yep. it doesn't seem like the right time. You know, our finances aren't in the best space. What do you, what would you say to that woman who craves this, but feels like it's a little overwhelming to take on? Yeah. I would, I would say this. Oh my gosh. So many, so many thoughts are flooding. Like there's so much I could say to that person. Like, I just want to like cup her face and be like, you know, like I give you a hug and say like, girlfriend, like that you can do this. All it takes one step at a time. Don't get overwhelmed with everything, you know, that's ahead of you. Like just take one step. I actually, so I, one of the gals on my team, um, we work together, we commute together. Like as honestly, that's been a lifesaver too. Um, she's on my team. She's um, shout out to Jess. Um, we talked this morning on the commute in just talking about how, you know, the only way, the only way that we make progress, um, we think that we have to have it all figured out. We think we have to hold, have the whole plan laid out. Um, but we don't, we don't think ourselves into action. We don't think ourselves into our goals. Like we take steps. Like it's just one step. You just take one step. Like if you're thinking about this, like all I can say is just reach out, send a message, have a conversation. What do you have to lose? You don't have anything to lose but what if this could change your life like i have never felt stronger than how i feel right now about where i'm going to be in three years three years like honestly i i mean i have 29 years invested in corporate america right now 29 years this is all that i know and i have always knew that i wanted to retire early but i have never felt more confident that it's possible than having said yes to this opportunity which initially i said no to um but yet listen to that voice like listen to that still small voice that said call her like check it out like check it out check it out so just take that one step that's it yeah it's not like we have to have the whole roadmap figured out like it's literally like have a conversation is step one. And then, yep. talk, you know, talk to your spouse, biz bestie, sitting up with another pro con list, make a decision in 24 hours. Don't just exhaust and stress yourself out about like, well, do I maybe, maybe next month I'll do it. No, just decide yes or no. 
And then if it's yes, sign up. And then there, and then, you know, Tammy or I, whoever, you know, that who like referred you to watch this video, we'll give you all the next steps. You know, there's, it's, it's not super complicated. Pursue Mm it pro con list and decide, you know what I mean? Don't live in that indecision. Don't tell yourself next month or next week, because you know what? That means never, that really means never. So just decide and totally, totally go for it. I love that, Tammy. Any other last words you want to say to the women who are watching this? I just want to say like, you know, um, a lot of times as women, we discount the impact that we have on the world. You know, we, um, there's so many hats that we wear and we're, we're such people pleasers and we like to like to keep everyone, everyone else happy. Um, and, and that's awesome. That's how we're made. And I think our, our nurturing selves, like, you know, um, um, want to do that. But yet at the same time, like, just know that you, people are watching you, like people are, you, you aren't, you have the ability to really um, impact others' lives, not just people in your direct family, not just people in your community, but other people in the world. Like think of every experience that you've had up until this point, somebody's waiting to like hear your message. Like I know somebody else just like me is dying to leave a nine to five job. I, I know it. I know. I see them all the time. You, <laughs> drop a two in the comments. Like if you're ready to leave your nine to five, drop a two. Yes. Even if you're on our team, tell us, make that, make that statement. Yes. And just like, no, there's another way. Like there is another way and it's scary, but yet it is possible. And just reach out your hand, like reach out your hand and take that one step. It's totally possible. Uh, I love it. Anyone who's loved, love, love this interview from Tammy, drop some hearts in the comments. Like Tammy truly inspires me. The thing I love about her is like she said, I was 29 or I am 29 years invested in corporate America. And normally at that point in our lives, you're like, I've already done the time. Like, this is what I know. So this is what I'm going to stick with because it's comfortable. You know, it's good salary. But, you know, I love that she's challenging the status quo and saying, I think there's more for me and I'm ready to chase it. And I'm ready to do what I believe is best for me and my family. So if that's you too, and you're watching, you know, Tammy, you know, or, you know, whoever invited you to watch this, reach out to them and just have the conversation. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean you're going to, you know, we're not going to like, scam you into something you shouldn't do. We're not like that. We're like, we're like super nice people. I promise. (laughs) We're super genuine. Um, but just, just have a conversation, ask the questions, share your hesitations, like share about the things that make you nervous about doing something like this. Like we, you know, me and Tammy, I'm sure the women watching this have had those same fears. In fact, if you've ever been afraid to jump into something new, drop a three in the comments. I was scared to jump into this business. I mean, very similar to Tammy. I'd already built my own personal brand and you know, network marketing has that bad rep. And I thought, what will people think? Will this ruin my brand? And it's done nothing but enhance it. It's done nothing but help me impact people more. My downline at this point is 2000. Like I said, Tammy's about to hit the 300 mark in a matter of months. Like, is this your eighth month? Eighth or eighth? Yeah. Eighth month. Yeah. yeah. Like in eight months, she's been able to impact 300 lives. That's amazing. That's so amazing. And sh- this is just the beginning. Like, this is truly just the beginning. And think like if you could have the impact too, it's literally at your fingertips. You just have to take the first step. So if you're watching from Tammy's page or you know Tammy, reach out to her, whoever invited you to this video, just have a conversation, talk to them, work through all those scary fears you have in your head. They're probably not actually like that crazy scary. Okay, I always tell my girls like, Think of your worst case. It's probably that everything doesn't work and you get a job at Target, which is like the best store ever. So it's really like your worst case really isn't that bad. You get a discount. <laughs> right. Yeah, you get a discount at Target. Like it doesn't get much better than that. So think of that worst case and really think of the best case. What if you could retire three or five years early? What if this could actually enable you to leave your job? What if this enabled you to be able to travel more? Like I said, one huge benefit of this partnership is, you know, I've already earned my free car. Tammy is just about to earn a free vacation. Like that's huge. Like at my teaching job, I never have to do anything fun like that. And I think most of us don't have that luxury at our current job to travel for free or to get a company car or whatever it be, where you can have that extra support for your family so you can still have fun alongside of the income you make. So any last words, Tammy? Just thank, thank you. Like, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for, um, for just, you know, you know, <laughs> being a part of this tribe. It just, it really, it really means so, so much. So thank yeah. you. I've been so blessed by you, Tammy. Like she really pushes me to be a better leader and just love her servant's heart. Always her heart after God too. Like, I love that her whole morning is dedicated to like 
her time with the Lord. And then that just fuels her day. You know, it's that special time. And then it's personal development. It's taking care of her, her people. And I just think such an inspiration, Tammy, is if you love hearing this from Tammy, drop some hearts. And we hope to see you inside. We want you to be a part of this community of nearly 1,400 people who are making a huge impact on people's lives. So stop watching right now. Send Tammy a message, whoever sent you here. Just have the conversation. And let's get you in that support system you need to chase your goals. So we love you guys. And we'll talk to you soon.